Hi, um, I'm Sunil from NetMath, and today we've got James Tanton with us, and uh, I'm going to ask James a really simple question, and he's going to give a really short answer. And so the question is, James, what made you become a mathematician? And maybe just first introduce yourself very quickly. <laughs> oh, I'm James. Yes. Hi, I'm from something called the Global Math Project, a very exciting project that's going to bring joy and wonder to students all across the globe. But I really want to talk about your question, what made me a mathematician? Yes. I have an actual answer. It's one puzzle in my life. Okay. It's this one. Okay. So actually, I grew up back in Australia, and I was in a, an old Victorian house. And every ceiling in that house, every room had a ceiling that was a pressed tin ceiling with some sort of design on it. And in my bedroom, the design on my ceiling was simply a 5x5 five five grid of squares. Now, there were vines and flowers, but basically, every single night, as a young lad falling asleep, I stared at that. So what does a young lad do? Well, he starts making puzzles for himself. And here's the one puzzle I made up for myself on this 5x5 five five grid that I think made me a mathematician. It goes as follows. So I imagined, say for example, I start at the top left cell. And my puzzle was, can I walk in vertical and horizontal steps and visit each and every cell exactly once? And it looks like I'm doing a bit of a crazy path. It works. But that did the trick. Bingo. So then I started, tried starting at other places, like the middle cell. This is a bit of a wonky picture, but that's the middle cell. Can I do a path that visits each and every square exactly once? Actually, I think a spiral works this time. Yeah, nice. So then I tried other spots. So I tried this spot, for example. Can you walk a path that visits every cell exactly once? Try it. And then try this one. And as you try more and more spots, you'll find you're in for a surprise. And in fact, I found this puzzle so disturbing that I want to know what was going on, because some squares seem to be more awkward than others, and I want to know the logical reason what made them awkward. And it took me years to figure that out. Years. And then I had an epiphany whilst walking to school, not thinking about this problem, that made it all suddenly logically fall into place for me. Okay, so you're not going to give us the answer, though? No, okay, that's it. No answer. Okay. That's it. Uh, if you really like that uh, puzzle, uh, James and I have a longer talk. Just click on the link below, and uh, you can hear us get into more detail conversations about mathematics. So James, thank you so much for My being pleasure. here. My pleasure. Thank you. And hopefully you check out our video.